guys, if you are a Star Wars fan, you wanna stick around today for this video. I have recipes that will make a movie night to remember. So stick around and I will show you exactly how to do that coming up. Hey, what's up guys? It's Bethany here again with Mommy's Movie Magic and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Bethany and I create movie theme nights with dinner, drinks, snacks, and crafts every single week. I have a new movie that night that comes out every week, so if that's something that interests you, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so that you don't miss all the new movie nights that I come out with. And also, if you are liking this video, make sure to go down and give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out and let me know you guys are enjoying my material and that I can keep creating these for you guys every single week for you to see and help you guys out making them in your own homes. So let's get into this week. So for our menu this week, we are doing Obi-Wan Kababis, Seven Leia Dip, Lightsabers, Wookiee Cookies, and Blue Milk. So let's not get you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into it now. First, we're gonna get our chicken kebabs ready, which I already diced up some of this chicken breast and I put them in a Ziploc bag and we're gonna use just this wishbone Italian dressing marinade. And you guys can use whatever marinade that you want, but I thought this was perfect for the kids. And then we marinated it in the refrigerator for four hours. And then I prepped all of my fruits and vegetables that I wanted on my kebab, which I used mushrooms, pineapple, green peppers, and red onions. And then I just alternated the chicken and the vegetables on my skewer. And then we went ahead and baked it in the oven for at 400 for about 20 minutes. For the first layer of our seven layer dip, you have to start out with refried beans, which I had to make my own because it did not have a jar. So I will include that in the description bar down below the recipe that I use. But I went ahead and drained my salsa into my refried beans and used the liquid from that to kind of water it down a little bit. And then I went ahead and spread it out into a nine by 13 pan. For the second layer, we start out with eight ounces of cream cheese and add in a half a cup of sour cream and a packet of taco mix. And we're gonna mix that all up until it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna take that and put that on top of our refried bean mixture and spread it out until it's all smooth across the top. At this point is where you would add your guacamole layer if you are doing that, but I did not. So my next layer is gonna be my salsa, which this is the salsa that I drained earlier to use the liquid in the refried beans. And now I'm adding back in a little bit of that moisture with some jarred salsa already. And then for my next layer, we're doing cheese. So I use cheddar cheese for my top layer. And then you put on your favorite veggies on top, which I ended up having seven layers because I put tomatoes and green onions and olives on top, giving me seven different ingredients for my seven layer dip. For the Wookiee cookies, we start out with our flour, add in our cornstarch, our instant coffee and our cocoa powder and mix together all of our dry ingredients in a separate bowl. And we're gonna do our wet ingredients, which we're gonna start out with our stick of butter. We're gonna soften that in the mixer before we start adding in the rest of the ingredients. Which now we add in our sugar, our vegetable oil, vanilla, and baking powder. And we're gonna mix all that together and now we're gonna add in our egg. And now is the point where we're gonna add back in all of our dry ingredients and mix it all up until it starts to form a dough. At this point, you, I also added in two tablespoons of milk because my dough seemed a little dry. And when it comes to form together, we go ahead and roll it out with a rolling pin until it's about a quarter inch thick. Then we're gonna take our gingerbread man cutout and we're going to cut out as many as we can in our dough mixture. 
and we're gonna put them onto a baking sheet where now we're gonna take a fork and start pressing into the dough so that we can create the hair for Chewbacca. And then we're gonna place it in the oven for about eight minutes and they're nice and done. Now on to the decorating, where I made up a buttercream uh, recipe and I dyed it this dark brown color. So we're gonna do stripes across his body, so it's for his sash, and we're gonna create his eyeballs and his nose, all with the brown. And then I bought these white pearls that we're just gonna do for his accessories, and now we have our Wookiee cookie. Now for the lightsabers, I started with this white chocolate and a green chocolate, and I put each of them in the microwave for starting for 30 seconds. You wanna take it out and stir it and put it back in for 15 second intervals and stir in between. And when it comes out nice and smooth, I bought these candy melt boxes from Wilton at the grocery store, which makes dipping the sticks in so much easier. So I poured the chocolate into the box and it's nice and long, so I broke that. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in and stir it around so we get our pretzel nice and filled. And so I did it two different ways. The first green ones I did just with chocolate. And for our red lightsabers, I did white chocolate where I dipped in. And to get the red color, I rolled it in this red sugar sprinkles. So we have two different kinds of lightsabers. You have just a chocolate covered and then you have a sprinkle covered for the red. And lastly, I melted some black chocolate and put it in a piping bag and just finished off the handles to our lightsabers. So for our blue milk, we're gonna start out with our coconut milk and pour it into a blender where we add in our pineapple juice, pineapple, our rice milk, and four tablespoons of coconut cream. We're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna blend all of that up together until it's nice and smooth. We're now at this point, we're gonna add in our blue dye. I added in about four drops of this gel sky blue colored dye. And then we're gonna mix that up until it's the perfect blue color. And at the very end, we're gonna add in about two cups of ice to make our blue milk. Olivia and I knew that we wanted to make lightsabers for our movie night, so we found these empty rolls of wrapping paper in the basement, and we wanted to make one for the dark side and one for the Jedi, so I got out some red and some green paint, and we started painting the empty wrapping paper rolls. Uh, we just used these paint brushes and got out some cardboard, and I made sure it was all painted at first. And then we needed to make some handles for our lightsabers, so I had this duct tape in the basement and we got out the black duct tape and I rolled it twice around the bottom of the wrapping paper roll and then I put on a roll of uh, masking tape, which then I needed to color silver so I can make part of the handle look the way that it's supposed to. Uh, so I colored in with permanent marker silver and then I topped it off with a smaller piece of black to finish off the handle and there was our lightsabers. All right, so my suggestions for how to make this your own, obviously, you guys, I suggest every single week to order out. If it's something that's gonna make your life easier but yet more fun to enjoy a movie like, like this, do it. Order somewhere that has kebabs or individual pieces like that that you can put them together and make a kebab. 
go ahead and do it. I use chicken, you guys can use steak, whatever veggies you want, make it your own, do your own thing. And also for the seven layer dip, you don't have to use all seven layers. Use whatever that your family's gonna eat. I just went ahead and made it normally and you'll be surprised. Also the Wookiee cookies I made out to be chocolate. You can make them whatever flavor you want. Chewbacca is brown, so that just kind of makes sense. So that's what I went ahead and did. Uh, and also I did the blue milk. And there are a lot of recipes out there for different kinds of blue milk. You can make it with an ice cream. I made obviously the coconut pineapple rice milk one. Use whatever's best and easiest for your family. And that's all my suggestions. So let me know down in the comments what you, maybe what you did differently and how you made your movie night more fun and easier for your family. I would love to hear from you. So leave me a note down in the comments. Alright guys, I think that's it here from me here at Mommy's Movie Magic. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful time and you learned exactly how to make a movie night in your own home with your family to Star Wars. So make sure that you check out my channel where I have a lot more movie nights and I have a lot more coming in the future. So go down, check out my channel, watch some more movie nights, and I'll see you guys next week on Mommy's Movie Magic.